Well, since I'm starting out, um, why don't you tell me what drew you to uh, do this movie, each of you? I think it was like the, the, that outlook of life, the uh, regardless of of hardship and uh, you know challenges, like it really, if it, it, it's how you face life that makes the difference, right? That that uh, that that you know creates the life that you you know really desire, or you know you, you can live by accident, or you could you know take control of that which you can and and uh, make a solid good difference, you know, and and you know uh, solidifying the the people the, the relationships with the people around you and. How inspirational it was for me also to see the the, the story, the love story with with uh, Jorge and Leslie. Um, that was amazing, and and uh, yeah, such a strong woman and such a rock, as Rada you know puts it many many times. And how she saw her it was really an amazing thing to see. How she was truly the the source of inspiration for him to keep going in his life. It was amazing. Um, I just love the dual love story. I, I love to see people falling in love and to see how how we are all so kind of connected and the mystery of that. And I, I think the movie does a lot to articulate something that's quite difficult to kind of explain. You just sort of see it and feel it, how, how connected we are. Yeah, and I think it, it was such a such a beautiful inspirational story you know to kind of see this like young love and this this incident that happens that shapes sam's life forever was was very interesting for me because you know it's such a heartbreaking thing but to see her be able to like persevere and um the way that she loved chris throughout you know everything no matter what it was it was um it was really great and just like telling a true story that's got so much hope in it and shows like how much light there can still be in the darkness is, is was such a wonderful uh, opportunity. Hey guys, I'm Kathy Beller, Mommy and Entertainment Unplugged. I wanted to know what is it you would like your moviegoers uh, to learn and when they watch the movie, what do you want them to walk away with? Well, I, I mean, I, I guess it's the, <laughs> I guess it's the, uh, uh, well, the, I guess there's two different answers, right? The, the walk away with, I think it's uh, this inspiration, this, this uh, aiming at something higher, you know, than yourself. Uh, you know, trying to be, to, to, to be the better version of yourself so that you can, you know, come out with a better life. Uh, uh, but with the, the thing to learn is, uh, you know, there, there isn't a lot of talk about, you know, being an organ donor and, and uh, you know, this, this is a reality that not a lot of us know about, but it's true. And, and there are a lot of people out there that, that, you know, they get a chance at a second go at their life. It's amazing. And again, talk about inspiration. It was really cool to see how um, the uh, Bacardi family, you know, and, and, and how Chris's family, like how it just everything came together. And, and it's such a unique relationship and friendship that they developed, you know, because of this, um, the situation with organ donation. And uh, if, you know, it's, I think it's important for a lot of people to know about that. And, and whenever you get your driver's license, just say, you know, if, whenever I'm out of here, I, I don't need my organs anymore. So, you know, Godspeed and, and hope that it brings, you know, new life to other people as well. Yeah, um, I think what Tiara has been saying, um, don't forget to tell the people that you love, that you love them don't take any of this for granted. Um, every moment is precious. I think that's... Well, now you stole my slogan. I don't know what to say. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she gave you credit, though. She gave you credit. I gave you credit. Sure. <laughs> I'm Robin Davis from momthemagnificent.com. Um, I'd be happy if anyone wanted to answer this, but I'd love to know, do any of you guys have your own personal miracle story to share? or little miracle um, that you've had your own experience with? Um, I mean, yeah, all the time. There's something that like is surprising. I mean, just from the very beginning, I, you know, I was born with the cord around my neck and I survived that. <laughs> so, you know, here I am. Um, 
but um yeah often there's things that you think about and then they sort of show up the next day in front of you and you wonder why um i think it's about recognizing these these moments and these miraculous events the, these special occurrences i think there's more of them than we realize Hi guys, I'm Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. Thank you for spending this time today. Um, I was curious if there were any challenges in um, bringing an actual real true story to the screen. Rada, I'm sorry. No, I was uh, going to say you. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, Tiara, you, you have, you've been a little quiet there. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't say that there was so much challenges. I, there definitely was an extra added layer of you know, importance to making sure that we told the story right and that we, you know, gave justice to what these people went through. Um, I think we worked with such wonderful people and, and the director and the writer and everybody was was so involved and, and cared so much about the story that we were telling and, and honoring these people that I, I don't, I wouldn't really say there was so much challenges. It just was a very, we all just cared a lot. There was a lot of care and effort that went into making this movie and and you know doing it right yeah especially because the people whose lives we were depicting were with us um some of the time you know chris's parents the bacardis uh so we felt like we were expressing this magical and amazing friendship that they formed um but we were also helping them like relive some of this stuff so it was very real um really an amazing experience hi i'm tati from cool moms cool tips.com and um the movie obviously you need to bring tissues to the movie it's uh it's very powerful and i was wondering if when reading the script or actually working on a scene was there uh, a moment that you really felt all the power and the feeling that and, and and personally affected you is there any scene or any moments or any uh part of the script that really brought some tears to your eyes i i, I have to say the uh, there was a moment where uh, uh after everything had happened and he had the uh, the basically the lung transplant when he was out in the boat with his wife and uh he opened the letter uh, it was written to him, you know, by uh, this young man's family. And uh, I remember doing that scene. I didn't want to read it. I didn't want to know what it said. And, and uh, I wanted to kind of go in there, you know, and, and keep, keep everything open and see what happened. And, uh, and it really hit me. It, it, was a, it was a very interesting thing. I didn't know how it was going to hit me, but it was, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, um, it was truly engaging just to, I, I, I guess I, I, I really grasped the uh, the heaviness of the situation and the beauty of it as well, because you know it, it, there's there's a joy in it, uh, but it but it's very complicated to grasp and it's uh, to set aside that hardship and almost that that a little bit of because it's such a lovely story that these youngsters were were basically having it was beautiful you know a young man a young woman and and everything was perfect they loved each other. And uh, it breaks your heart to see the potential of a beautiful family. And then all of a sudden it withers away. It wasn't true. It was all what, what could have been. And, uh, and I guess it all really sat with me in, in that moment, in, in that scene. And I, it's something I didn't know or didn't plan when I was reading the script. It's something that just happened while we were shooting. I think Thanks, Aiden. the moment was when we're doing the scene in the hospital with the family when we find out that he's not gonna make it, that he's not gonna come back. Because um, just putting myself in the shoes of them and, and Sam in that moment of having to comprehend such an insanely difficult thing and then to you know have the conversation that he wanted to donate his organs and what that means and the people that he could help I think, you know, just sitting with all of that in that moment was just like the weight of it hit me so hard. I think it kind of hit all of us in a way that, well, for me, that scene that we didn't expect. Um, like we knew it was going to be heavy and sad, obviously, it's a terrible thing, but then to just imagine how they must have felt in the shock of it all. Um, yeah, it was a really, really powerful scene to film for sure. 
I think for me it was when he was in hospital having had the operation and not knowing if it was going to work or not going to work and then he's alive you know this sort of magic that, it, that he was still here um, I think that was sort of a moving moment from my perspective so I saw that some of this was filmed in Hawaii, and I was wondering if you guys had a chance to take the time to explore, and what did you do? Yeah, hiking, a lot of hiking, a lot of hiking, exploring all these, uh, you know, uh, water holes, or I don't know if that's what you call them, but they're, they're like little, I guess, nooks that people, you had to kind of hike to, and there all of a sudden there was this extension of the ocean in there. Uh, I don't know how many of those there are, but yeah, it was really cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of kayaking. It's just a, it's a stunning place. It really is. It's so majestic and, and you really appreciate the, the grandeur of, of nature and life and, and history as well, right? Because obviously Jurassic Park, you know, you, you're there and you, you, uh, you think of that, you, you, it was shot there and uh, it's just that, you know, it's, it's so massive and beautiful and overwhelming to see all of that. Yeah, it was, it was pretty incredible. I had never been before. Um, and I actually went with Jacob and Jordan, who played his brother. We went a couple of days early and we rented a car and we just like drove all around and explored and ate in really unique, interesting little hole in the wall restaurants and jumped off of rocks and cliffs, which in hindsight, we probably shouldn't have done before we were done filming. Um, <laughs> But it was, it was incredible. It was, it was so much fun. I mean, I just had a great time at the hotel we were shooting in with my mom who, you know, was there and she was sort of having this great like holiday. Uh, I think the, the only bad moment was when she got sunburned, you know, other than that, I was like being <laughs> in paradise. Hi there. I'm Tanya Liam um, from LilaLiamChops.com. Uh, so my question is, I um, am the mom of many teenage girls. Um, and so my daughters are, were super excited when I told them um, about this movie and they wanted to watch with me uh, because of Jacob and Tiara. Uh, and so Tiara, what would you say to that fan base, to, to the teen fan base that wants to watch this movie? What, what do you hope they get out of it? Um. I hope they get out of it that, you know, life is always going to throw things at you that you won't expect, really good things and really bad things. Um, and I think that to never take anything for granted and to, you know, hug the people that are really close to you and to never take your loved ones and the time that you have with them for granted because you never know what's going to happen. Um, and that in those times that are really hard that you feel like there is no light at the end of the tunnel um that you will get through it that you will persevere that there can be goodness in even the darkest darkest of times <laughs>